Now to new details in Wayne County and an update for the Newark Police Department. They now have enough staff to return to 24 hour coverage. Elisa Badzik reports. Newark Chief of Police Rich Martin tells News 8 that he is extremely appreciative of New York State Police and Wayne County Sheriff's Office as they stepped up to help and cover four hours each night for the department. Who are gracious enough to step up while they're also, while they're also suffering their own staffing shortage um, and were able to kind of cover for us during those hours. Now, un unfortunately, there were a few instances that, uh, that uh, required some significant work on their part. Um, during our off hours, there were a few of them, so that's why we're so appreciative that they were able to come in and help us out. He adds that the overtime and hard work his team put in did not go unnoticed. I think the last tally I looked at was about 3,600 hours of overtime spread out amongst only uh, eight officers. So that really puts a strain not only on the officer's home work-life balance, but strain on the family, strain on, you know, sleep patterns. So. Um, I think they're very excited as well as, as I am and the village residents are to see that we've got staffing and that we can kind of ease up a little bit on, on requiring them to, to work so many hours. Chief Martin says that much of the new officers are local residents and are excited to get out on the streets. Our new officers did an internship with us, so we were already familiar with him, he was familiar with us, um, so we were able to uh, attract people that way. In fact, him and his brothers, so we have uh, a set of brothers, two sets of brothers, actually, local folks. So three out of the four that we sent through the Finger Lakes Academy are literally village residents that were born and raised here in the village. So it's really exciting to get local folks coming back to work in their, their local police department. Yeah. The department is now up to 14 members, including investigators, with another officer who has just started his field training. Reporting in Newark, Adelisa Badzik, News 8.